Hey gamers, Billy Mays here, and have I got the thing for you. Are you an idiot who buys AAA games? Are you tired of immersive worlds taking up all of your time? Is this complicated keyboard and mouse too much for you to figure out? Is this old controller with its buttons and triggers too much for your little digits? Well then boy do I have the thing for you. Time savers. Now time savers is when you give us money to not play the game you already paid for because I put roadblocks in the game that you want to get over. Isn't that pay to win? No! Because we call the time savers. But wait, there's more. Call now and you can buy skill points, Mark II upgrades, and materials for crafting. So you better buy now because I'm Billy Mays. Fucking idiots. Yeah, uh, I would like to purchase some time savers. Yeah, that's right, Billy Mays told me to. Yeah, that's right, I am an idiot. Only $69.99. Order now for your time saver. Send your check or money order to Time Savers Incorporated, Department 3825, Austin, Texas, 78759. Please allow 365 days per delivery. Visit us at www.gofuckyourself.com. I know this review is late, but I literally had to drag myself kicking and screaming through playing this game because to be perfectly honest, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint is one of the most boring and repetitive and microtransaction filled games I have ever had the displeasure of reviewing. It no longer resembles any of the unique mechanics and identity of the Ghost Recon series, the older ones. Instead, it prefers to reuse, remix, copycat, all the same elements from other increasingly bland Ubisoft titles. It's, it's like Division Light. It's like Assassin's Creed Gear System Odyssey. It's every low effort cookie cutter Ubisoft open world game. And it is a sad shell of its former self. Worse, it's a chore to play through. <laughs> As a thank you for your first purchase, get the eye patch, because we just poked your eye out so we can steal more money from your fucking wallet while you ain't looking. They have an eye patch? Yes, but you, you have to buy something to get the eye patch, Joe. Ah, oh, I just want an eye patch. If you can't tell, I'm pissed, because they finished it. The AI, it's pathetic. Is it food? Venturing out now. This fucking guy is so stupid, I just killed his friend and he's not doing anything. While people take magazines to the chest, they take just one shot to the head in realism. And that makes everything so simple. so dumb. And honestly, I do like that implementation, like the reverse bullet sponge mentality, but if you're going to do that, you're going to need some much better AI that actually uses tactics instead of this shit. Hey, hey, hey you get down the fiddle and you get down the bow, kick off your shoes and you throw them on the floor. Dance in the kitchen to the morning lines, Louisiana Saturday night. I only really found the challenge in these Terminator Hunter Killer tanks that sometimes guard like weapon blueprints and crap that, you know, we would need a group to take on. Okay. Going back to the chopper. See, I, I stunned it. Okay. See how I hit it with four rockets? Look at its health. Right click and look at it. Rockets okay. do zero damage. We're gonna go ram it with the helicopter.
But shooting down drones and these tanks and these brain dead one shot kill enemies will really test your patience. Sorry, I'm breaking down 300 items by hand. One at a time, because this game's yep. fucking inventory system is a nightmare. What a beast. So obviously we have another looter shooter here, collecting guns and loot. That's all right, and the combat is fine, but if your opponents are worthless, then it's just not fun. Your experience will be summed up like this. Talk to some boring dude with another boring vanilla task, and he tells you to go across the map for intel. You run around till you realize helicopters are really the only good way of getting around this ridiculously too large and empty map that's nothing filled with nothing but mindless fighting. So you'll find a helicopter, You'll fly there, you'll walk up to a laptop to investigate. The investigations in this game are pathetic! Having to go get intel and then it's not good enough that you just picked it up. You have to open your menu and then look at it and then exit your menu and then put the intel down, then go to where it's telling you. It's, it's designed to waste your time. I'll couple that with the item, the item level thing that won't let you do the end game content till you're 150. That was cool, like lightning strike. Yeah. A plus lightning strike. But the item, the item level. I missed it. I was wearing my night vision goggles. <laughs> <laughs> then you fly all the way back and you just rinse and repeat over and over. Uh, welcome back to Angry Skies. This is your captain, Joe Vargas speaking. Oh, it's uh, this guy. I'm about to jump. I... <laughs> I'll get in a lot of trouble if you jump out, so I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, stay seated and uh, buckle your safety belts. We appear to be approaching a uh, mountain face. I'm going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> slam us into this thing right here uh, because it seems like uh, somebody doesn't appreciate my flying. So uh, we'll see how much he appreciates it uh, when I slam his uh, head into the side of a mountain. Massive distances, which is nothing in between. The vehicles, they got no radio, no stations, no banter back and forth, no story, no nothing! With me. This game desperately needs radio stations or some kind something. of music. There's like no music. Like, what are you thinking? Are you dumb? Oh, Am I stupid, Joe? There's a whole album that you can buy, idiot. Give us uh, $5.99. It is so unbearable in single player, even more so than last year's game. At the very least, Wildlands included AI companions. They would, they would talk to each other on these long trips, giving more context and life to the boring journeys. Here, it's just dead silence. And it's maddening! I've heard of it. I haven't heard too many details. What do you know? I'm sorry, no man. I'm very busy. Excuse me. <laughs> Clearly. <sighs> wow, the wow. Wow. Was that it? The, uh, yes, that like was it. Hiding Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I just need to find out what. <laughs> but at least this year, they fixed a boring story. That was the big criticism, uh, criticism of last year's title, you know, right? Year. Wrong! My people got some business with you. And if you want your kid back, then you gotta cooperate. Right? Wrong. <laughs> Sure, they tricked and hired John Bernthal, to, a pretty good actor, to come in and give some gravitas to the story as the main villain, mostly in inappropriately timed flashbacks. 
Yeah, so the flashback scenes with John are, are great. They're, they're, you know, more entertaining. But they're, like, injected awkwardly into the story. It's like, she's talking to you, and you're like, uh, and then you go back into it. It's funny. But even he can't lift up story here. It can't get any more generic, I I any more eye-rolling. It is bottom-of-the-barrel stuff that Tom Clancy himself would be rolling in his grave if he knew what kind of shit was being churned out with his name on it. No, no, Ramon, no. I told you, uncut. Uncut or we are through. Hold, hold on, I gotta go. <sighs> oh, God, that was dangerous. Headshots is key, man. I know. Except for those stupid, annoying drones. They take so many bullets, and there's no head! Hi, Billy Mays here with another exciting quest for you. Take this USB drive and go put it in that building. That building! You mean the base that we just oh. came from! Yeah, certain death awaits. Go on. You know, certain death. I haven't heard that phrase in a oh, long Oh, you got time. him started. Way back in the day, me and my old military buddies, we got in a jam, and this is how we got out, if I remember. Hey, wait, goddamn, he's in a flashback. So that's all we gotta do, right? Yes, Just that's it. Go plug it in anywhere. Any, any computer. Oh. <sighs> Hi, I'm Billy Mays, and I just gave you a robot quest. Now go, let's get out. I got stuff to do. Let's go. Let's get out all. I remember. Oh God, way back in my no, military days, somebody told me to skedaddle. If I can remember right, it went something like this. Hey, hey, fuck off. Go. I got stuff to do. Yeah, remote. I told you one kilo at a time, unmarked. Good. The, the fake-ass dialogue, multiple-choice answers, it desperately tries to keep you awake. But even that is a joke, as no matter which option you pick, even insane ones like, I'm gonna kill you! The person just ignores you! Are you still gonna kill us? Yes. Yes, they're going to kill you. I hated your quest. It was stupid. Yes, right there. Now, as much as I'd like to tear you to pieces, yeah. I'm sentinel out there. I still need you. But you bet your ass I'm telling Paula what you and Haruhi did. No, I said kill them. You murdered 30 people. What do you think? Yes. Tell her I'm sorry. Oh, fuck off. You don't kill him at all. You just, you just, it just does its one linear path that it had in mind already anyway. I hate false, meaningless choices in games that are poorly covered up. And that sums up this entire game, that phrase. Yes, we, oh, God, hold on, Joe. She's got one more. Let me just talk to Daigoro. No. Yes, it's, he's man. in Infinite Prophet. No. Prophet. No. Fuck her. F fuck her? I'm done. <laughs> You're done. Like, see this? I'm done. No. I, I'm, I'm, I can't oh, white let getting this dirty. Go. No, I'm going to talk to this talking part. No. So, without meaningful choices, without worthwhile enemy AI, without a damn story that you give a shit about, maybe you could fall back on just gun collecting, right? Gun loot, like so many other better looter shooters out there, and maybe appreciate how beautiful this world is at times. Like on PC, that is. Look at that bush. Look at that bush, a physical bush. Like, the best part of this game for me is right when you load it up. After being away, your character's like just standing there in the wilderness and the wind blowing and the sun shining and the foliage looks great. It's kind of my opinion. I mean, it looks beautiful at times, for sure. Well, uh, <laughs> but as you can see, okay. Mm, yeah, whoa. Yeah. I think I just proved my point there, so. Like, there's this huge potential out there. And for those few seconds, it feels like you might be about to play a better game until you run smack dab into the game's numerous bugs. On my screen, you're literally holding every single gadget in your hand at once, and it just looks like you're struggling to hold everything. I'm holding all of my equipment. This is what it would actually look like <laughs> if, if the game was realistic. So I was trying to take a picture of what you looked like on my screen. I sent it to you. 
but it, it had the flash on. Basically, I was in a sitting position, Chad, in the helicopter, except for I was flying the helicopter from the tail section, not the cockpit. Getting caught on terrain! bleed out so you can respawn. not like me? mold the map where where you know you can't get stuck quest that won't trigger when you're at the trigger point Crashes! Paul. Other Joe has disconnected. <laughs> Dream was, was disconnected. Right? He was. Delroth has disconnected. No, you, you disconnected, ask him what they were working Joe. on. It says all you guys disconnected. Are you still in the cutscene then? No. <laughs> Project Dave. Then and we're still in the cutscene, so you disconnected. Bad, and it said I'm leaving. <laughs> he, <laughs> he said, "Fuck this dialogue. I'm gone." <laughs> You're leaving. Glitches galore! I'm phased by the building, I don't know. What the fuck? No. What is it says, phased just, by the I'm building? I'm just a wall. I'm just a wall now. You're a wall? <laughs> yes. Okay. I can't. I've been holding space. I did X. I'm in the map. I'm doing everything. It won't let me deploy anywhere. It won't let me do my drone. I'm just stuck. God, why did it spawn enemies right next to us? I wasn't gonna fucking die. I'm a god. Plus a legendary drop, so I want to stay alive. Uh, I won one too. I just fucking died it? out of nowhere in the ether of the gods of Valhalla of the game's stupid broken bullshit. What the fuck is with your gun? <laughs> right? Oh, shit. <laughs> You're wielding a suppressor, Joe. I, di I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> wait, okay, nobody. Wait, that's not good. I, I have to take a picture of all these because Joe is holding nothing. Dr. Evil's holding all of his guns. <laughs> well, in my screen, <laughs> Dr. Evil is wielding a suppressor. Frustrating! If you die to overleveled enemies, they'll just kill you in one shot. The, the game thinks it's a great idea to then spawn you 115 miles away from your teammates without any consideration to the terrain in between. Just messily throw you into the world, leading to the most boring hike back to your teammates who are still in the firefight. It's fucking awful! Did it spawn you inside his base? That's amazing. Um... Good luck, dude. One hour oh, left! Uh, it, 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 it spawned me on the years, other baby. entrance of his base. I think. Oh my god, look at how far this game spawns. This game spawns are fucking broken and bullshit! We're spawning on Dell, and here's where it puts us. Man, fuck this broken ass game. This is fucking bullshit. And if this, this ending is gonna be shit, I can just feel it. It's... This is, this is ridiculous. The game feels half-baked, like an unfinished collection of ideas. It is a complete waste. Look at this shit. I have to show you this mission, guys. This is quite possibly the laziest mission. Look, the, the second you hit any vehicle, all the dudes fall off. Look, look right here. You hit it with one bullet, they all hop out of the freaking truck. <laughs> This is supposed to be a set piece battle within Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. The sounds of the cars. <laughs> Low rumble and suspension. Oh my god, there's more guys here. Oh no. Oh no, another car. Guess what's gonna happen? Oh, they all hopped out. They're supposed to. <laughs> They're supposed to chase you down, and there's supposed to be gunfire everywhere. Oh, that one almost got me. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my god, are they going to put up a fight? 
no, they're gonna hop out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. This is, uh. This is my life now. I have to play this shit. All the way through. Oh, man. Fuck this game! However, the misery doesn't just end there. No, not content with just butchering the Ghost Recon franchise with all this that I just talked about. Somehow, it strips Wildlands down, the previous tile, and makes it one big blatant platform for selling microtransactions. This game has more microtransactions than any other game I've played recently. Holy fucking shit, what the fuck are all these fucking tabs? Insulting, when so much of it is weak already, and they think people will actually put money into this shit? Fuck, this is ridiculous. Nearly every goddamn aspect of the game is fucking monetized. Trayish. Straight up trayish. Really? Really? For 360 So you're telling me that's $3. Hey. What the fuck has happened to fucking Ghost Recon? Is this what Ghost Recon is now? Any aspect you can think of has microtransactions. Any and every damn element of the game is being monetized. I could not believe what I was seeing. Hey OJ, Billy Mays here. I see that you're playing our game, and I want to take a moment to show you our wonderful Time Saver store. Billy Mays, what are you doing here? Why are you pausing my game? Because I'm Billy Mays, and I'm here to save you time. But you're wasting my time by pausing my game. I can't play. Exactly right. That's why I'm here to show you our wonderful Time Savers. Check out these Mark II upgrades. No, no, no. I'm not interested. I've heard this spiel before. I'm, I'm out of here. No, 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 OJ, OJ, come, come back, come back. I'll take out the Mark II. Uh, Billy will fix this. Bill, Billy will fix this, I promise. You serious? Yeah, yeah, come sit down, come sit down. I'll take out Mark II and skill points for, for now. Wait, 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 back up. What do, you, what do you mean for now? For now, for now. For now, I'm going to show you these Mark I upgrades. Oh, God damn it, no! I got tricked before, I'm not doing this again! Fuck you, Billy! I'm out! Joe, are you leaving? Are you leaving? You're gonna be sorry. Billy will make sure that you are sorry. And that's not even the worst of it. When Dell started playing a few days before me, when it first came out, there were even worse microtransactions that they took out! Remove pins. They saw everything. I do not want this shit. Literally everything, chat. This is all in a $60 game. It's not even worth $60. And many of these you could grind for, sure. But many of them are specifically designed to be grindy. So you buy these so-called time savers and XP dumps. Blue? You, you, want, you want to fucking charge me 12? 100 credits for fucking blue? For fucking blue! Again! You wanna charge me $13? Is that, is that what I'm saying? Oh, it's a fucking bundle. It's a fucking bundle. What are you doing, man? What are you fucking doing? This is so fucking lazy, man. Why? You're fucking... You, this is a turning point for you guys. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? Yes, Ubisoft recently removed them, saying, no, they, they were a mistake, and, and, and they were supposed to be there at launch right now. A pathetic, totally misguided excuse, because they're coming back, because that's what this game is. It's a piece of shit that's over-monetized to hell and back, being butchered by corporate into something unrecognizable without its own identity. It has to freaking ape other better games. You can, you can even kill the fucking boss after one hour of gameplay. You can beat the final boss. I'm not joking. Dell interrogated a random enemy commander and got the final boss mission at the start. So did I. 
Reflect until together. Brother versus brother. Avenge your brothers in arms. Oh, that's the mission to kill uh, oh, yeah, Walker. Cool. And then he killed him by cheesing it as a boss level is like 200, 250, and he's like level 10, so he cheesed it. Move. Got him. Okay, we killed Walker. <laughs> we got Walker! We gotta secure the building, there's more dudes! <laughs> yeah, first try! <laughs> The C4 plan worked, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so we killed the main bad guy. Good job, guys! It was actually kind of the only cool thing in the game, right? Because as he progressed through the story, the cutscenes actually had to make adjustments. Like, every time John's character was supposed to show up, they would replace it with a second-hand man in the game. When the actor John was there in my game. It's just a shame that everyone else on this mission board is just a chore to get through and not at all satisfying to complete their web of storylines. And that is this game. PvP multiplayer, Ghost War, it isn't all that much better. It, I, it's fine, I guess. Enemy forces have all been right. defeated. I, I guess it's fine. It's not like what I'd call super fun. But it gets old quick. And there's like four on four mode that heavily relies on scout drone spotting so you can mop up the enemy quickly. It's sort of like Call of Duty's 2v2, but not as fast, not as repeatable, not as fun. Yeah, no. The final verdict for Ubisoft's Ghost Creed Recon Division Microtransaction Breaking Point is at its best ever. Like at its most best. A 5 out of 10 with friends. But honestly, no. No. It is so often worse than that. Consistently. And considering the microtransactions were so bad and excessive that they had to take some out late to put back in later, this is an easy 4 out of 10. And playing by yourself, even worse, three! Do not waste your time with Breakpoint. There are far better games this year that deserve your time, attention, and money. The only thing it had going for it was this release window where it wasn't competing with much else and I pretty much had to review it, even weeks late. I'm sure it picked up just some I'm bored sales off of that. But if this is the direction that Ghost Recon is going in the future, and hell, every single Ubisoft title going forward, count me out because they're all going to rate around this score. Unless something is radically changed and some better effort put in. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. What are you doing in my house? I told you nobody runs for Billy Mays. Put the knife down. Oh, Stop stabbing me with the knife! Stop it! But it there's, there's more! What are you doing with the rope? No! God, you're choking me! Come now for life till I reap it! Yeah. Well, who are you? Billy Mays! Billy Mays here. Uh, I'm gonna rip this shirt and I got the thing for like you. The, the, the shirt and the pants and nothing fits. Hey gamers, Billy Mays here. No. <laughs> too long. Too, yeah. I don't want to point at myself. Point at yourself, goddammit! Play a character! Yeah, uh, I would like to purchase some time savers. Yeah, that's right. Billy Mays told me to. Yes, I am an idiot. Yeah, that's right, I am an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, where that's where I'll end it. What's that? Yeah, I am an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, you just... <laughs> Hopefully that didn't know, you gotta redo it. Okay. Are you an idiot who buys AAA games? Are you tired of immersive worlds taking up all of your time? You give us money to not play the game you already paid for, because I put roadblocks in the game. Isn't that pay to win?
No, you stupid idiot, because we called it Time Savers. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Go, skedaddle. Skedaddle. That reminds me of oh, what time. God damn it. <laughs> Let's go. That was good. <laughs> okay.